Welcome to Q&A with Esther. I'm so excited to be here to answer your questions, mamas. And for this episode, we have a question from Wangeshi. And she says, I have started um, weaning or introducing solids to my baby. I give my baby porridge in the morning, lunchtime I give fruits, and in the evening malenge. What else can I add to my baby's diet? So Wangeshi, congratulations for your baby getting to, you know, six months. And um, looking at what you're feeding your baby, remember your baby at six months still requires a balanced diet. There are a few things that are key um, to consider, things to consider at six months. Your baby's iron stores, they are getting depleted. So your baby stores for themselves iron during pregnancy when you're pregnant. And this iron sustains them in the first few months of life. But by the time four or five months is reaching, those iron stores are getting depleted. So right from six months, we need to start giving our babies foods rich in iron. So you're asking what else you can add, should give a balanced diet. So add foods that are rich in iron. These are things like animal sources like meats, chicken, fish, chicken liver. You can also add legumes like um, um, peas and beans and, and, and green grams and lentils. You can also add the green leafy vegetables. So ensure that you add those to your baby's diet. Your baby also requires a lot of energy. Um, energy is one of the things that are key to ensuring that your baby gets um, enough you know, enough energy to grow, basically. So you need to start adding uh, foods like carbohydrates. Starches are the ones that give us energy. So you add uh, foods like ugali, um, rice, potatoes, arrow roots, uh, what we call uh, guaches or sweet potatoes. So we have a lot of local vegetables, uh, starches that you can add or grain starches. So any of those will work very well to add to your baby's diet. Also remember, malenge is a vegetable, so you need to start adding other other vegetables. Things like gorget, you know, gorget is very good, a very good vegetable um, that will give your baby um, lots of fiber. You can add things like hohos or, or green peppers. They are yellow peppers, you know, there's red peppers, yeah, there's uh, carrots. They are um, 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 onions, even onions are vegetables, so there's a variety. So basically what I'm saying, give your baby a balanced diet. The foods that you eat, make sure that there's proteins in it, there's vegetables, a varied amount of vegetables, there's good starches, 50% of your baby's diet should come from a starch because the baby requires a lot of energy and your baby will be just fine. Wangeshi continues to ask, I'm using a kichungi, when a kichungi is a sieve, when am I supposed to stop using the kichungi? So for most babies at six months, they can actually handle very, very small lumps. Um, and when we use a kichungi, we actually reduce the energy of the baby's food. Remember we say energy is one of the things that your baby really requires a lot of. So when you reduce the fiber and, and, and the energy of the food, then it means your baby will not grow well. One of the tips that I give moms is use our uh, grater. Carrot grater is a great uh, tool that you can use in the kitchen and um, a lot of times you can use this side that is really rough for very small babies and as your baby grows you know you can grate um, a hoho or a, or a pepper on it, you can grate the carrots, you can grate the other vegetables you, and to make the, the food a bit, the lumps a bit smaller for your baby to eat. But in the same time, you're not reducing the fiber or reducing the energy output of that food because it's too, it's too light or it's almost like a liquid when the baby is taking. So you can go increasing the, the lump sizes as your baby grows. Or you can also use a fork, um, a fork. Once you like potatoes, vegetables, um, ugali, um, even rice, you mash the baby's food, you know, finely with a fork. The fork has, will provide very small lumps that your baby can actually eat. Remember, even as you introduce solids, you have to teach your baby how to chew. Chewing is something that the baby has to practice to do. And as they start chewing, then they become more adept at it. They become adept at chewing, moving food around in the mouth and swallowing. So, kichungi, mm, your baby six months old, you don't really need the kichungi for now, Angeshi. And lastly, she asks, 
uh, machungwa machungwa is an orange when can i introduce it so it is a fruit i'm always saying test it most food most babies after six months can handle it um, babies who have eczema though eczema is the, an allergic skin reaction that some babies get babies with eczema might react to oranges uh, or lemons or citric fruits so you can delay that for a bit but not for very long maybe just for a month or two and test them but for most babies right from six months you can see how they do with an orange and it's a rich source of vitamin c so go ahead and feed your baby with that if you have any question for me get in touch with us on this whatsapp number and we'll create a video just for you